Cross Plus Outdoors here. Um, been gone for a while. Apologize for that. Been missing uh, making videos and such, but a lot of life changes, new job, and uh, trying to get the company up and running, and um, and then just all this new stuff we have in the world, which is very interesting. Uh, but one thing I wanted to share was back to some leather work. We um, I switched from carrying from hip to appendix, and um, so we're Fox X holster, um, and we change. Oops, we change out to some quick clips. Um, budget friendly, though. I've been looking at holsters. I got a lot of friends who oh you need to buy this rig, you need to buy that rig. Um, they're 150, 160 dollars. I don't know if I even want to carry appendix. I don't know yet. Uh, I don't know if I want to carry uh, inside the waistband. I don't know yet. Uh, I've been carrying outside the waistband and my clothes accordingly, but uh, doing a bunch of just studying and research and everybody who's very generous on YouTube and Instagram in offering their, uh, to me, their expert uh, opinions. Um, just carrying side is you get in a confrontation or something like that some particular weapon um, this here you know it's hidden it's not going anywhere I also carry a backup a pistol in the small of my back um, but anyways anyways I'm switching to appendix and so therefore I didn't want to invest a bunch of money and at the end of the day um, I think all of us are watching our P's and Q's. So uh, I went in with the Fox X. But what I didn't like was the original clips that came on it. And I'm gonna put this up here so you can see the clip better. There's a metal clip, you can see the profile, 1.5 inch belt, okay. And they're, they're strong clips, but they do not work when you sit down, sit in your vehicle. Um, and they were only a single point of attachment. They're only a single point attachment. So anyways, we're gonna, in this next segment, we're gonna change them out to these quick clips and we're gonna see how it goes, all right? So appreciate everybody tuning in, appreciate being back. Um, good to see everybody and looking forward to making some uh, videos back on, on leather work, share some uh, preparedness videos, uh, just a continual message from all my peers and everybody as a community i think it's if there's ever been a time preppers are not uh, crazy anymore right we're actually pretty normal people but anyways uh i hope you enjoy the video uh, thank you for tuning in appreciate it Okay, as mentioned um, on the Fox holster, it's a Fox X holster, IWB appendix I'm carrying. Just switched to appendix, was running hip, but changed. Um, again, this is based on budget-friendly um, rigs. <clears throat> and not that cheaper rigs perform less, uh, but you also have to um, be able to afford rigs. So as a other type of, of holsters that um, are gonna be 120, 130, $140, you know, uh, this one was $39. Um, there's really not any adjustability as you can see you know the the holster part is riveted in 
okay um, there is some adjustment on the belt clips but as I mentioned we want to uh, switch those belt clips out I don't um, the adjustability is good as far as positions five positions I like that um, I'm finally starting to break it in if you could see that how it's starting to conform um, obviously when you're carrying out of the waistband you change your clothes and then when you carry in the waistband appendix you're changing your clothes also uh, and you better with all due respect and I say this because I'm a little fluffy uh, you better change your weight too or else um, you're in print all, all the time and then that's that's not not what you want to do anyway so let's get to the clips so I um, wore this for about two three weeks uh, found it's kind of sliding out these clips are they're pretty good if you can see that I use clips for the leather work from Tandy um, hopefully all this comes into focus but from from Tandy but I use these because these are on off clips quick. They're not uh, made for tight retention. Uh, they're just not, that's not what I put on my leather work. I'm just putting it on so you can put a belt clip on or put whatever you want. But for a gun holster, uh, obviously there shouldn't be any movement at all, uh, especially when you sit down and, and, and get back up. So, um, you know, these are just a couple different styles. I hope you can see those okay. And this is what I use in general every day. I've also bought some, uh, again, from from Tandy, just because I catch things on, on sale. Uh, but you can kind of see, hopefully you can see that profile there. That's just a 90 degrees, okay? So there's still, there's retention there that's not solid, okay? And the clips, oh, let me move that over. And the clips that we're using now are a um, quick clip. And I just did this quick clip here. So this is for a 1.75 belt. So when I do a, a duty belt, which normally I wear 1.5 inch, but when I do a duty belt, it is 1.75. Um, these clips here you see how they oops you see how they you see that hook in there that's not coming off once it hooks in your belt you're you're done uh, these do work on 1.5 all right um, now I'm I'm like the normal guy I'm getting out of my truck sitting at a desk um, but I don't want to keep on adjusting or having to reach under my shirt, push down because this pushes up when I sit. And if you're in a situation, let's say you have to get out of your truck, you're in a situation, this thing has ridden up and it is now out of position of what you're practicing. So it's going to cause an issue. And that's why I'm going to change these clips that it came with to these quick clip pro holster clips uh, that I got. Uh, they were $13 for the for the pair. Um, this Fox holster I'm, I'm actually uh, pretty impressed with. 30, $39 versus $130, $150, $180 rig. I carry a spare magazine on my side because that's just how I've trained for the whole time, but there's a lot of discussion and debate out there having a side-by-side, -side, which is fine. Uh, there's some great quality holsters out there, but uh, I'm not going to go buy a $150 holster and realize it's not comfortable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go buy a budget-friendly one, wear it for a while, see how I like it, adjust it, make sure I get the cant right, keep the weight off 
wear the right pants, wear the right belt, and then maybe I'll go invest in something that's not leather, it's a little bit cooler, because I live in the Southwest and in Nevada and it's hot. So, hence why we're switching the metal clips that the Fox X holster comes with to the Quick Clip Pro Holster 1.75 clips. Um, I'm concerned about the plastic. The reviews were good. I'm concerned about the plastic between the temp. We do go to our homestead, which uh, has temperatures down to zero. Um, not that I'm sitting outside, uh, but it's gonna be interesting to put these on, take it on off when at night, on in the morning, when you use the restroom throughout the day, on off, on off, on off, and flexing this and see how they last. So far, I haven't heard anything negative as far as them breaking, but they are plastic. And um, anyways, we'll, uh, we'll see. So let's, let's get going. One thing I suggest is, um, is I do other type of Kydex work. Um, buy a little kit that just has miscellaneous um, screws, back washers, rubber washers, different sizes. Um, just have this sitting around. That way you're not... Uh... I do a bunch of stuff, so it's easy for me to justify spending this, especially with all my leather work. But um, I think it's a good little kit. I'm sure there's other ones out there. But anyways, it's just a sample kind of tell you what what's in it this quick quick pro clips did come with all the hardware and I'll post some pictures and, and everything like that so it did come with hardware but anyways I would uh, have this sitting around I I wear a couple different holsters when I get home the appendix comes out and I go to um, I go to side carry. Um, so I, I run to a side carry um, paddle holster for my SIG just because when I get home I start working and bending down and doing a bunch of stuff and uh, I train with this also. So it does not um, throw me off to when I get home to do this. I, when Dakota tells me to sit down on the couch to relax, uh, I sit down and we watch a show or so and this is way more comfortable. And um, so the, um, put this off to the side. So anyways, the um, appendix I had just started wearing throughout the day. When I get home, I change to side carry. Uh, anyways, so that's, um, take these off here and again the these clips that come with a Fox X is not uh, they're not bad um, just when I sit down they move and I can't afford for that to move especially not so much at the office because we got a pretty secure office but especially um, especially when I'm driving to or from work or going in the store when if I've got to exit the truck quickly then um, if this thing has slid up on me which it does that's just not gonna work we're gonna have an issue because my gun is gonna be out of position and um, I'm not gonna say uh, at all that I'm really really good with uh, running from different positions because I'm not I practice from one position and that's about it just because uh, you better get that down to science before you start practicing a bunch of others that's my opinion um, so I don't need it riding up all right hopefully 
the camera is picking all this up, which I think it is. So you can see all the hardware it comes with, which is good. It's a good amount of hardware. Or if you don't use, put in your kit. So you always have some spare hardware. But this is Quick Clip Pro. One thing I like about them is they're made in USA. I'm making, I've always made a conscious effort to buy in USA. I'm trying to buy more in the USA with everything going on in the world. We've got to support our local economy. We've got to support our people to make sure that um, they are working and we are also producing good quality products, which obviously everything from China seems to be crap. So not too happy with that. So we put this old clip back on and we see where it was sitting at, right? And if we measure this here, we wanna kinda of sit the same way. So we're gonna bring it down to the last position. But one nice thing, I guess a good and bad thing is these things kinda of swivel so they adjust to your body where you're going in at. And obviously, we're gonna put them in the same position. I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna see how it fits. But some, the way this can't is here, uh, we may have to adjust these in different positions in order to straighten this can't up on me so when I when any of us come down it's in the position we need it but we're gonna put them in the same spots for now so it looks like they're gonna be right about there so you can see how I'm trying to line that up okay back off to the side put this in now these screws that came with you could kind of oops wrong one sorry Kind of see. You see how short they are? They're not going to work. Okay. Now I use for my screws, I have some Chicago screws that I have in my other one. Let me uh, grab some to show you. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, I have some actually fancy ones, but you can see they come, they come in different, they'll come in different sizes with some sort of, some have fancy domes on them. Um, anyways, uh, I have a bunch of Chicago screws, but this kit does come with them. And let's see. Maybe those are. A little long. Let's go back down here to the next size. Now we're gonna have to keep on doing this and do some adjustments. Whether we need to place washers, because once I adjust all this and the gun goes back in, I can see how it fits on, on my body. So we may have to do a bunch of dumps, adjustments, spacing, and, and so forth like that. So. Um, that potentially looks like the right size. Hopefully I'm in view of the camera. It's always kind of hard to, when you're doing a project and filming. I haven't been online in a long time, and I apologize for that, but just um, I changed jobs and world changed and Everything keeps on changing on us, right? So uh, I haven't had time to do any videos, but we're gonna get back into it, get uh, crossbless.com going again. And um, so what we don't want to happen is that screw protruding. Can everybody see that protruding too far? Because that's gonna hit me, the skin. So it looks like we might we're gonna measure these. Looks like we might go to a shorter screw. We'll go the size down again. And this is why I suggest having a kit because as much as you plan um, thickness of material, I deal with a lot of leather and a little bit of Kydex, but thickness of everything and what you're trying to do, you might buy some hardware and get home and before you know it, it's not the right size. There, so that is not protruding. 
nice and smooth. Okay. So the interesting thing is these holes are off from these quick clips. So let me see if um, if I can modify that a little bit. Kind of made. See how they made that? Kind of overlaps there, so not a not really good, but it's okay. One nice thing about leather is you could see, you could can move it a little bit. So one of these backers on here. Let's screw that down. So it's hard to get that in there. Got to make sure we don't damage the clip. Okay. Let's tighten this up a little bit more. And that's kind of what it comes out to. Okay. I'm going to pause this and I'll do the other side real quick. Okay. So we finished the other side. So we've got both sides changed out. Again, we went from the metal clip to the uh, Quick Pro clips, 1.75, so it'll fit my duty belt and my normal leather belt I wear for work. Hopefully you can see that. Let me change them out and we've got extra washers and stuff like that in the kit. So one thing I'll do next is fit it back in. Okay. Um, I'll fit it back in and then we'll see if I need to adjust whichever based on how it fits me and make sure I get this can. So on the upper scale hol holsters, <clears throat> SIGs, uh, Aliens, uh, T-Rex, all, all those top notch holsters that are nice, uh, they've got some adjustability. This one does not. These are all fixed rivets. Uh, if I can't get the adjustability out, I will drill these out. I will turn them into Chicago screws and uh, I will obviously strategically punch some more holes if need be into the leather. The leather is a nine ounce leather that they that they use. Uh, pretty good quality. They've, they've, they've done a nice job on it. Uh, I will probably go in and finish this just because uh, that's how I do my leather work. This gets finished and edged and smoothed out uh, like it's smooth as can be anyways uh, if i need to adjust this i will but the uh, fox x holster you know um, for 39 dollars, you can't you can't beat it and it's gonna allow me to see how i like appendix carry it for a while and if i like it i like it if i i'll move on to maybe something better or if i don't like it then I didn't invest a bunch of money. It was budget friendly. One thing I do want to uh, say is, you see that, okay. So Kydex, leather. According to some experts, there's some delay because of the friction that happens here. So I am considering if I do have to take this apart, the rivets out, is I will so I carry Kydex here uh, as I will cut a piece of Kydex that fits through here and that way the 
pistol I'm carrying will slide on Kydex on the inside, which will be potentially a little bit quicker and rigid this up a little bit. Right now, if you could see how it's conforming to my body. And again, where I'm at, it's hot, so we're sweating a lot and stuff, but it's starting to conform, which is what leather does, which is nice. So it's making it really comfortable. So if I put a piece of Kydex in there, is it gonna stiffen up and not be comfortable? Well, then I just guess I gotta lose some more weight then, right? Um, my boy runs appendix, except he's in really, really good shape, so it does not matter. But dad here is chubby and fluffy, and so it does matter, because uh, you want it to be comfortable, because you are sitting all day, right? Um, let me just adjust this a little bit. You are sitting all day, and that thing is sitting there, and so you want to make sure that it is comfortable, okay? Okay, so we finished the other side. So we've got both sides changed out. Again, we went from the metal clip to the uh, Quick Pro clips, 1.75. So it'll fit my duty belt and my normal leather belt I wear for work. Hopefully you can see that. Let me change them out. And we've got extra washers and stuff like that in the kit. So one thing I'll do next is fit it back in. Okay. Um, I'll fit it back in and then we'll see if I need to adjust whichever based on how it fits me and make sure I get this can. So on the upper scale hol holsters, <clears throat> SIGs, uh, Aliens, uh, T-Rex, all, all those top notch holsters that are nice, uh, they've got some adjustability. This one does not. These are all fixed rivets. Uh, if I can't get the adjustability out, I will drill these out. I will turn them into Chicago screws and uh, I will obviously strategically punch some more holes if need be into the leather. The leather is a nine ounce leather that they that they use. Uh, pretty good quality. They've, they've, they've done a nice job on it. Uh, I will probably go in and finish this just because uh, that's how I do my leather work. This gets finished and edged and smoothed out uh, like it's smooth as can be anyways uh, if I need to adjust this I will but the uh, Fox X holster you know um, for $39 you can't you can't beat it and it's gonna allow me to see how I like appendix carry it for a while and if I like it I like it if I I'll move on to maybe something better or if I don't like it then I didn't invest a bunch of money. It was budget friendly. One thing I do want to uh, say is, you see that? Okay. So Kydex, leather. According to some experts, there's some delay because of the friction that happens here. So I am considering if I do have to take this apart, rivets out, is I will because I carry Kydex here, uh, as I will cut a piece of Kydex that fits through here. And that way the pistol I'm carrying will slide on Kydex on the inside, which will be potentially a little bit quicker and rigid this up a little bit. Right now, if you could see how it's conforming to my body and again where I'm at it's hot so we're sweating a lot and stuff but it's starting to conform which is what leather does which is nice so it's making it really comfortable so if I put a piece of kydex in there is it going to stiffen up and 
not be comfortable, well then I just guess I gotta lose some more weight then, right? Um, my boy runs appendix, except he's in really, really good shape, so it does not matter. But dad here is chubby and fluffy, and so it does matter, because uh, you want it to be comfortable, because you are sitting all day, right? Um, let me just adjust this a little bit. You are sitting all day and that thing is sitting there and so you wanna make sure that it is comfortable, okay? All right, so just finishing installing the clips on both sides. Um, so I gotta do this, that way everybody knows it's safe. Um, Anyways, we're going to, one thing, as I mentioned, but I want to mention just again, uh, there still needs to be some adjustments. So these may change hole positions, okay? And the budget-friendly holster, which I like, I think it's good quality, is fixed. So therefore, there might be some adjustments there. So this is kind of what it looks like with the rig all together, okay? And uh, so far, I'm quite happy w with it. I've adjusted it quite a bit, uh, but we're going to the range tomorrow. So we're gonna see how this works. I'm gonna run the duty belt, which is the 1.75 belt. Uh, I'm gonna run, run that and um, we'll see how the time is. And um, it's gonna take practice, you know, uh, we're not, uh, I'm not gonna go to the range tomorrow and come back. Well, that's awesome because it has nothing to do with that. I, I've got to, I've got to pull it in and out of here five thousand times, right? Just to see how how it feels. So there's still a lot of work to go, um, but Dakota and I pinching pennies, watching everything, uh, investing a lot in uh, food preparedness. I don't have to really invest in guns and ammo, and that's that's been done and over with but what I'm trying to do is adjust accordingly due to the times and the protesting and as much as we travel from here to the homestead being in the vehicle be able to get out potentially defend ourselves if, if we have to and so that's hence why I switched to appendix carry watching some of these channels that are awesome and most of these guys are carrying appendix of course they're young kids and they don't have fluff right this older guy's got fluff so I got to get some weight on but um, this is why I, I I do know that retention is extremely important and you know it, again you can see that little hook in there right and these clips again did not have that hook in there Hopefully this is coming through okay. Strong clips, but not not strong enough. Um, so I hope I hope that, that this helps. Again, budget friendly. This is not. I, I've I've got some buddies who've got rigs that are just awesome. They're side by side. You know, they got sidecar on them. They're awesome. Uh, they're expensive. And by the time you run accessories and everything like that, they're, they go up to $200, right? I'm not gonna invest in something like that if I don't know if I even like to carry appendix uh, or if my fluffy physique here could afford to carry appendix as much as I sit and as much as I drive and speed, right? I gotta be able to get out. Um, and you're, you're not going to sit there and if you practice just from standing all the time, uh, that's one practice method, right? If anybody follows BJ Baldwin, uh, who went through the incident a couple months here, we're from the same town and always been a big fan of his. And anyways, uh, that's a standing position, right? Uh, but we don't know what's going to happen if you guys follow, uh, Costa Lucas, which I follow him quite a bit, you'll see him running drills from a car all the time, okay? Uh, that's tough, 
pushing to mow them down the road, and all of a sudden you got to get out and you got to deploy your weapon. And so, anyways, practice, 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 right? So, I got a long ways to, to go, but uh, I wanted to share uh, what my findings were just in the beginning, just with the clips that it was riding up and it was not staying where it needs to, which means if I had to jump out of the car, I had to get to the weapon, it would not be in the position that I'm practicing in, it would be higher. And therefore, what problems is that called? Because I don't know what the mental psyche is going to be. The only people who understand what the mental psyche is are the people who've been through it. And I am blessed to have never been through it. And I hope to stay blessed that I don't ever go through it. But if you do, uh, you've got to educate yourself and understand what people have been through or what you have to practice and, and stuff like that. So anyways, cheap modification, $13 for the clips. The... Fox X was $39 for two clips was $13, $12.95. Go in the range tomorrow. We'll do a follow-up. Hope everybody enjoyed that and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, enjoy your next outdoor adventure and stay prepared.